All right, guys. So today we are sh comparing the Int and the Tech Khalifa. Both of them are actually surprisingly good. This one is a free-to-play World Tournament award. Uh, this one is a summonable one that came out with LRK and Khalifa. Both of them are really, really good. Basically, I'm not going to break them down like in-depth. I'm just going to be like, the Tech one is really good at dodging. And she does stack attack and defense, but I mean, that's that's pretty much secondary for her. Whereas the Int one's main thing is raising attack and defense. And the reason it's her main thing is because if you look, she does do an additional super attack if there's a Kale on the same rotation. And it's a guaranteed additional super attack. And she also uh, gets extra attack per Universe 6 category ally on the team. She has a high chance of evading at all times. So both of them are really, really good. Also, one thing I should mention, both of them are at 55%. So this is a pretty fair comparison, except for the part, like, if you look at the World Tournament one, obviously she only gets plus 12,000 from the Hidden Potential system for being 55%, whereas the Tech one gets plus 2,000. That's just the difference between free-to-play and pay-to-play Hidden Potential system. Uh, but we're going to hop in first with the Tech Khalifa, I guess in the Legendary Goku event, we will be back in a second. Two. Alright, so here we are with Tech Khalifa in the Legendary Goku event. Here there is no support, she is yet to stack up her attack and defense, and she has a 100% chance to dodge. So, if we just look at this here, she's going to do pretty much no damage. Uh, yeah, 477k, that's not great. But, next rotation we're gonna have a 40% support type unit in the Tech Kale, the World Tournament support one. Up, oh, see, dodging a super, and then just dodging all of the attacks. Uh, so Tech Khalifa would be significantly better for this event if it knew Goku did not disable your dodging, because the way she works, she gets a guaranteed 100% chance to dodge against pure Saiyans or Universal Survival Saga enemies, and this Goku is both. So, like, she would just be bobbing and weaving this whole time if it weren't for that last stage, and she'd be really, really good for this event if she wasn't, like, tech type, because she does stack up her attack and defense, she just does it extremely slow. But she does it, like, fast enough to where if she was a different typing that didn't have type disadvantage against the stage that disables dodging, she would actually be really, really good for this event. But the way it is, it's like, I think, in Khalifa, even, like, though overall she might not be quite as good, I think she is better for this event in particular. Um, and here we are floating off Champa, just because he is also a 40% support type unit. So, next time we see her, we're going to have one 40% support unit, then the turn after we're going to have the second 40% support type unit. And then I think we'll have seen just about all of her, like, important rotations. We saw her without support, we saw her with one, and then we're going to see her with two. I'm not sure if we're ever going to get her over, like, a million, though. So that is one thing to keep in mind. Uh, this Kale is actually pretty good, too. She has 73,000 defense here. Does she get the extra defense on Super Attack? No, she just gets an extra 120% defense and launches an additional Super Attack if there's a Khalif on rotation. So I guess I'm just going to put her in the front slot because I can, and I want to kind of see her. This is my first time using her since I got her SA-10. Because um, originally I didn't SA-10, the World Tournament units, until I pulled the summonable, like, you know, base form Kale and Khalifa. Uh, and then when I did that, I just farmed all of their super attacks, which took 70 story keys, by the way. And that's how many story keys it took for me to grind four unit super attacks. That just hurts. Okay, so, there she was at 627,000, not great. Does Champa have Prodigies? I actually don't know. He probably doesn't, but Prodigies is really that uh, Khalifa's only attack link. Oh, this is a little scary. They have type advantage here. Whatever, we're not going to do anything. I don't think we're going to die. I also don't think they're going to kill this Goku. I wouldn't be mad if they did, but I don't think they're going to, because, I mean, there's no support here, and Hit is like... A glass cannon that doesn't know how to fire like he doesn't have any defense but also he had a million attack stat right there that's not like hitting hard and th this friend hit has a dupe my hit has no dupes so my hit I mean he might fall below a million here and this is on a double 170 percent lead so I mean that would be very unimpressive of a Dokkan fest unit okay Khalifa that is not Khalifa that is Kefla I have this problem in my no item run of the Peppy Owl's, like, Super Battle Road stage, where I would just, like, call Khalifa, Kefla, and Kale, Khalifa, and it's like, all of their names are too similar, okay? It would be like, if, v instead of Vegeta's name being Vegeta, it was like, Gokun, you know? Like, Gokua, like the, the Bojack Squad member. Okay, so here we got the double support. 
And I guess I can just take a look. Does he? He does not have prodigies. So, I'm just going to do this here because I can. Uh, so, I don't think we're going to get her over a million here. Do remember she is 55% though, and she does have a 100% chance to dodge. That's not really her forte. She isn't really here to do a whole lot of damage. She's here to, like, keep you from taking damage. Like, if there's a spot on this rotation where Goku was, like, attacking, like, three or four times, she would just, we would not get hurt this rotation at all. So that really is her main thing. Yeah, 783k is not that impressive. Like, the in Khalifa, even though her attack stat is lower, she can definitely get higher than that. Uh, and the reason I say that is because, like, she raises attack and defense significantly faster just because she does additional super, like, every single turn. Um... So I think we saw just about everything next turn. I guess we're going to get one more rotation just so that we can like see how fast she does stack up her like attack and defense. Because I'm not sure if I checked her defense last rotation, but I did check it a few turns ago with the when we had Kale on rotation. So we can just see how much it's changed since then. And then I guess since we will already be on that rotation, we can get a super as well. Just see how much her attack has gone up since then. And then after that, we're going to swap to pretty much this exact same team uh, just with the Int Khalifa. And I think she's going to look more impressive just in general. Even though, like, defensively, definitely, like, the Tech Khalifa is better up until Int UI Goku. Once you get to Int UI Goku, the Int one is significantly better than Khalifa, that is. Uh, so that is one thing to keep in mind. Okay, hit. Just out here not really doing much of anything at all. <laughs> I mean, even when he came out, he wasn't great. I still summoned on him, but actually, no. I thought I summoned hard on him for a second, but hold oh, What's her defense here? 82k is not bad. Her defense went through the roof. Okay. She might be a good option here. Um, but I only did one multi on the hit banner. I forgot about this. I only did one multi on the hit banner, and I got hit first multi. It was a 30 stone multi, so 679k is what she's at here. Um, so we'll be back in a second with the Int Khalifa. Uh, see you there. All right, guys. Uh, so here we are with the Int Khalifa. Now, this is going to be by far her worst rotation, just... You know, no support, she won't have her full passive active, uh, and her full passive meaning, like, she won't get her additional super here, but she is at 629k, so she is pretty much already hitting harder than Tech Khalifa, her super attack animation is way better than Tech Khalifa, and she's not taking too much damage, but she did have a high chance to dodge there, I'm pretty sure, and she didn't dodge at all, uh, so that does just show the difference between a 50% chance to dodge and a 100% chance to dodge, because there is a chance that, like, what happened there can happen, you know, it's just like, Every single attack you get hit by, you have a 50% chance to dodge it, but you just don't dodge any of them. Like, that is a possibility. Uh, I guess we'll just do that there. Um, I'm not sh real sure why I brought the units that I brought here. Okay, cool. And I, whoops, okay. I was trying to swipe it up, and I accidentally clicked on it. <laughs> what are you going to do? Okay. You know, I maybe I shouldn't have brought Kefla. I mean, I definitely should have, because she's a Universe 6 ally, and she's a peppy gal. Um, and the reason that's good is because, like, that is what activates parts of the passive for the Int Khalifa. But also, like, her additionals are kind of annoying. Also, the physical Kale, her dis uh, additionals are going to be pretty annoying. Just because it's like, this isn't their video, but also their rotation is going to take, like, probably significantly longer than the other rotation that we're, like, we actually want to be focusing on. There's three attacks. Oh, is Champa going to kill us here? Hopefully not. Champa, please don't kill us. 28, ah, we're fine. Okay, cool. Alright, so here, just checking stats again. 73 from the tech, Kale is pretty good. So we're going to put Khalifa in the front slot. So this is her with 40% support, and remember, now she's going to start getting double super attacks every single turn that we have her on. Which means she's going to stack up her attack and defense pretty quick. Uh, and I just love her attack animation. I don't know why. I think it's the little, when she first starts the blast. Hold up right th there like how the blast almost looks like water or something i love it okay so that's cool she did get the dodge there does she have like a 25 percent chance to dodge because so far that's like the rate that she's been procking her dodge okay nice double there both of these two do a stat uh, do stack attack and defense by the way they're like a decent option to use as like a rotation on this event although <laughs> I think the best rotation you could probably run, like, on the Universe 6 team for this, well, other than LR Kale and Khalifa, not counting LR Kale and Khalifa, I think it might be the Int Kale, well, not the Int Kale, but the Int Khalifa, with the STR Kale. Just because, like, both of those, uh, 
I cannot put her in. Actually, hold up. We're going to finish Super Saiyan Goku off here. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but the reason is because STR Kale, uh, she does do the additional super attacks as well. But she is will not have type disadvantage against the last stage. So I think that rotation would actually work pretty well here. I'm not going to do a video on that or anything. I thought about it for a second, uh, but definitely not going to do that. All right, so let's check the stats here. 118k. Okay, that is very, very good. Um, because she does stack up her attack and defense so much, I think I might actually cut and get this same rotation a little bit later in the event. Let's see. Okay, so how much is she going to take from this or is she going to dodge? She dodged. Okay, she got three dodges in a row now. And she's almost at a million attacks at here. Um, I think this was everything we wanted to see, but just, you know, because I want to see it. Oh, she's over a million now. Perfect. Um, just because I can, I do want to go a little bit further in this event and just, like, you know, give her maybe three more turns on rotation to stack up her attack and defense and see how much of a difference that makes, because that would be, like, six total super attacks. And then, by then, I will want to get the Champa back on rotation here and just see how much higher we can get her. Um, we will be back in a second after she is stacked up for probably an obscene amount of time. Uh, see you there. Alright, so here we are. We are up against Blue Goku. And she is stacked up quite a bit now. She's almost at 300,000 defense, which is really, really good. Um, and remember, she still does that have that 50% chance to dodge. Uh, but she won't have that against Int UI Goku, but she won't need it. She will already take double digit damage from Int UI Goku's normals. And by the time we get there, she might even take double digit damage from Int UI Goku's super attacks. And I mean, especially if she was rainbowed. So there she's at 1.37. And then 1.4. We got her to 1.4 million. I will take that. That is, I'm not going to go any further in this event because I'm almost out of items. Like, running tech hit in the Legendary Goku event is just a no-win situation almost. Um, but I think that was about all I wanted to show here. Um, both of the, like, base form Califlos are surprisingly good. Um, so, I mean, it's really just take your pick. I would say the Int one, definitely better for, like, the longer form content. And then the tech one, I mean, the tech one is probably better like in Dokkan Battlefield or something like that just like especially because you can use her against Jiren no matter what typing Jiren is Jiren will not be able to touch her uh she's also she might be better for Dokkan events I don't know the, the Int one seemed to hit harder in like in this video but I'm not real sure uh but anyways guys if you did enjoy this video please consider to leave a like a comment subscribing to the channel my name has been Blah and I'll see you guys next time